Hello, and welcome to the CCNA Routing and Switching course offered by Simply Learn. The previous lesson focused on network address translation. In this lesson, let us discuss and understand Internet Protocol version 6, IPv6. Let us begin with the objectives of this lesson in the next slide. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to convert between hexadecimal and decimal, configure various types of IPv6 addressing, describe strategies for transitioning to IPv6. In the next slide, let us understand how to convert decimal to hexadecimal. The dotted address 192.168.10.2 is represented in binary form as shown on the slide. To convert this to hexadecimal, create groups of four digits. Each of the groups is assigned a base 16 number. 1 through 9, A represents 10, B represents 11, C represents 12, D represents 13, E represents 14, and F represents 15. The first group of digits in the address is 12. This is hexadecimal C. The second group is 0. The third group is 10, which is a hexadecimal A. The fourth group is 8, which is the same in hexadecimal, and so on. Therefore, the address is represented in hexadecimal as C0A80A02. The prefix 0x means hexadecimal. In the next slide, let us understand how to convert hexadecimal to decimal. To convert hexadecimal C0A8 into decimal, first convert each hexadecimal digit to binary as shown on the slide. Gather 8 bits into each group. Now this should look familiar. It is straightforward binary to decimal conversion. We have converted the first two octets of an IPv4 address, 192.168. Let us move on to Internet Protocol version 6 in the following slide. In IPv6, there are three ways to configure static routes. With directly attached static routes, only the output interface is specified. Fully specified static routes are used when the output interface is multi-access. Both the interface and next hop are configured. Note that the interface comes before the next hop as compared with IPv4. In recursive static routes, only the next hop is specified. This example specifies that all destinations with address prefix 2001 colon db8 double colon slash 32 are reachable via the host with address 2001 colon db8 colon 3000 colon 1. Take some time to study the commands on this slide. When testing routing in IPv4, the ping and traceroute commands are used extensively. What about in IPv6? Let us understand this in the next slide. 